Hi, Tana Marshall here with your Feel Good Friday video. Today I want to talk to you about enthusiasm. Do you have enthusiasm about anything? It's really important, otherwise we can get very apathetic or get into a depression about things. So I, I just want you to think about that for a moment. What makes you enthusiastic? And let's look at the word itself. The word comes from the Greek entheos meaning in spirit. So it's literally something that gets you into your spirit. And what I like to talk about is something that feeds your spirit. So what feeds your spirit? What are you passionate about? What gets you excited? What gets you motivated? And when we have these things, they kind of keep us going. And it can be something that is what you do for fun. It can be our work. We're really fortunate if we're enthusiastic about our work. And a lot of people are able to take what they love, what they're passionate about, what they're enthusiastic about, and turn it into a career. And if there's something that you love that you would like to explore turning into a career, I want to tell you, my friend Gina Gomez is an amazing business coach. And this is her specialty. She helps people take what they're excited about, what they're passionate about, and turn it into a lucrative career and live their purpose. So if that sounds interesting to you, go check her out, ginagomez.com. She has helped me tremendously come up with new ideas and business avenues for what I'm doing. And she is just constantly firing off ideas on your behalf. Just things are always coming to her. She's always inspired. She is amazing at what she does. So go check her out because she is living proof of this enthusiasm. She's so great at what she does and she can help you do the same thing. So if you don't really have anything that gets that fire going within you, I want you to think about what would. Do you like music? Do you like art? Have you always wanted to draw or paint and you think, oh, I can't, I don't have any talent? You know what? It doesn't matter. If it's something that you have wanted to do that interests you and gets you excited, go check it out. If you've always wanted to learn how to play an instrument, go take a lesson or go sing. If you want to sing, sing, even if it's just in your bathroom. If it gives you joy and makes you happy, just do it. Or maybe, maybe learning a new language or traveling someplace that you've always wanted to visit. Or maybe you have people in your life that you just really love spending time with and it makes you feel really good to be around them. Be around them more. Maybe there's a place that you love to go. Everybody knows that I love to go to Disneyland. I have to go at least once a month, and that makes me enthusiastic. That gives me joy. It gets me excited, and that's my thing. Maybe you like to go to the beach. Maybe there's a place that you like to visit on vacation. Maybe there's a park near your house where you love to just take a walk. It doesn't really matter what it is. That Just find that thing. If you don't have some kind of hobby or something that you lose track of time with, that you forget to eat and you forget to pee and hours seem to fly by. That's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of thing that you've got to have in your life on a regular basis. And it doesn't matter if it's your career, if it is awesome, bonus, that is so great for you. But we all need the things that are just fun for the sake of being fun, that do that for us, that pass the time effortlessly and we're just so filled with joy and our spirit is so lifted that it really fills us up from the inside out. So I want you to think about what that is for you. And if you can't think of anything, go explore. And you know what, I want to give you a little bit of an example about how enthusiasm can shift things in your life in a couple of different ways. Um, when I first started at Capitol Records, I just moved into my first apartment by myself and I was so excited, but I was also very nervous. I mean, I had this big, beautiful apartment to myself, but I'd never lived completely on my own before. And around that same time, I had the desire to get more involved in music. And a coworker uh, at Capitol had a girls band and they needed a keyboard player and a backup singer, so I wound up joining this band. And that was exactly what I needed because I was practicing my keyboard in my living room every night and I was so full of joy and I was enjoying it so much and it was such a wonderful distraction that <clears throat> I was able to love my apartment and just enjoy being there and not worry about 
the stuff that was making me nervous about being in my first place by myself. So it, it got that enthusiasm going within me. And as I said, Disneyland does the same thing because being my mom's full-time caregiver, there's a lot of responsibility there. And I need a distraction every once in a while, something that I do that is just for fun, just for me, that gets me out of my daily grind. Although I love it, I love what I do and I, I love what I do with my coaching every day too. But it's just so wonderful to have something that is just for fun, that gets me so excited, that I'm so enthusiastic about. And you know, I'll tell you, enthusiasm is also going to allow you to open up for inspired ideas and to receive things that you maybe have been wanting, maybe that you have been asking for and you've been so focused on it and you're so in that state of struggle and oh, I gotta make it happen, you're not allowing it in. When you allow yourself to relax and have fun and be enthusiastic about something, it opens up those doors of receptivity and things can come to you. And I'll give you a quick example. Some of you know the story about me and my husband. I've talked about it before that we were friends for many years and then I fell in love with him and it took a couple of years. I was trying to make things happen and taking all this effort and things just weren't happening. And then when I learned about the law of attraction and the teachings of Abraham, I learned about the power of my energy. And I switched from taking all this physical action to just walking around in the energy of already being in this relationship and just enjoying it for the sake of enjoying it. And that got me excited and enthusiastic about the situation before it even happened. And then within a month, we were in a relationship. So you can take this idea of enthusiasm and the aspect of just having fun, knowing that it could bring your goals and dreams to you. It could allow them to flow into you a lot more easily. So really the benefits to being enthusiastic about anything in your life, it's endless. It's just, it's really a crucial element to have in your life, enthusiasm. So I really want you to think about that and find what makes you enthusiastic. What do you get excited about? And if you don't have it in your life or you don't have enough of it in your life, I really want to encourage you to bring more of it into your life, to go there, be with that person, do that activity more, whatever it is, and just notice what a difference it makes in your life and in your whole being, in your psyche, because you just feel better. When you're excited and enthusiastic, we just feel better. So go find that thing. And as always, I love to hear about it. So let me know, you can leave comments here. And if you like this video, if this sparked a little bit of enthusiasm in you, subscribe to my page on YouTube, because that makes me enthusiastic, or forward it to a friend that you think might enjoy it. And if you need a little bit of help trying to figure out this enthusiasm thing and what brings you that feeling and what you're passionate about, jump on over to my website, tannamarshall.com, and see what I have available to help you. So with that, I wanna wish you a fabulous weekend full of all things exciting and enthusiastic, and I'll see you next week.